السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اوکے گائز ون آف دا ریسرچ از ڈرو مائی اٹینشن ٹو دس پرٹیکولر فوٹیج واز اپلوڈڈ ام ام آن دا 9th اف اکتوبر اٹس بائی اے اسپینش اسٹرونومر ان امچو اسٹرونومر ہی از یوزنگ ہز ام الیکٹرک ٹیلیسکوپ وچ از کنیکٹڈ ٹو ہز لیپ ٹاپ وہ ہی پوائنٹس اٹ ان دا ہورائزن وی جسٹ ٹاک تھرو اٹ از وی واچ اٹ ٹوگیدر bueno, acá tenemos Nibiru en el cielo, ahí lo apunto con el dedo. No, he's been studying that planet for around about a year. En la compu lo estoy filmando con el ocular electrónico, eh, conectado al telescopio. Ahí lo tenemos en la misma posición todos los días, a la misma hora, 7 y 20 de la tarde. Ahora pasamos a verlo directamente en el ocular electrónico. Ahí tenemos los planetas Venus, Júpiter, Marte. He's ruled out the possibility of uh, 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 that celestial body being any one of these planets, Venus, Jupiter, uh, Mars, and Saturn. So it can't be that. Um, what he believes is uh, this planet is, is what's uh, notoriously called Nibiru in the, um, um, the research circles. A lot of these people aren't, um, <coughs> of course, in fact, if anything, I don't know any researcher who is Um, um, producing um, the sort of quality of um, um, evidence as these researchers are, who is a Muslim. Um, and most of these are either atheists or the, um, um, Christians. And our um, uh, subhanAllah, um, at least those who are basically averse with the basic knowledge of astronomy and um, maybe a part of these organizations that do the moon sighting. Uh, they should at the very least be studying the skies at the moment and looking out for these celestial bodies. Uh, there seems to be a plethora of researchers now surfacing, astronomers surfacing, astrophysicists surfacing, uh, and uh, even photographers who are surfacing uh, with evidence. At, um, pointing out these anomalies and celestial bodies in our heavens. Now there's been many other things uh, that allude to the arrival of this binary system into our uh, solar system and have emerged with it. But all of that said and done, there seems to be very little movement on the side of the ulama or any Muslims, unfortunately, towards uh, recognizing this phenomena happening. I mean, honestly, we're in October, you've seen how the sun is still shining. I mean, it's certainly getting a bit cold, but if you look at the sun, it just doesn't feel natural. Um, uh, and that should be at least a, a, a starting point uh, and should lead to uh, some sort of inquiry in the mind side as to uh, why uh, it feels um, eerie and unnatural. Anyway, Allah SWT knows best, but I mean, look at this. Uh, Para que vean que ninguno de esos astros son. I mean, so these guys in these circles believe in Nibiru, and Nibiru is again the same sort of um, story that Zachariah Sitchin, who has been uh, peddling this, uh, apparently according to the Iraqi transport minister, he's a um, very uh, excellent historian. I beg to differ. As I understand it, he was a Freemason. Uh, and um, his ties were with Freemasonry, so anything that he would be pushing, you'd actually take with a pinch of salt and look to the agenda that they're trying to push. And interesting enough, his book suggests that Nibiru is part of a system that comes in and rotates and comes to our binary system every so many thousands of years, and with it come sky gods. And he's connected it with Sumeria, and we understand Sumeria to be Babylon, And then we know where Babylon stands in the Kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then, interesting enough, Babylon finds its connections to mystery religions, as does ancient Egyptian religion, and then so does Greek mythology, and then it continues. It goes all the way to the Incas in South America. Um, it's just, um, and there's a huge web. And it's in Shaitan Lanatullah is connecting all of that. Uh, and it, it'd be very likely that when this extraterrestrial contact is staged, That's when they will basically um, um, connect the dots between all these uh, historical uh, documents, uh, historical findings, manipulate them, and make 
it's seeming that their narrative is uh, one with um, substance and one which is um, based on fact and not fiction and uh, when in fact we know that it's a huge lie and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best again I can't you know beseech our beloved Uluma enough I really don't know what I can do uh, I'm going to continue um, uploading the evidence that surfaces hopefully someone's going to be concerned about this and may feel that um, it's not just a figment of someone's imagination but actually a phenomena that's occurring worldwide and requires investigation on part of our ulama and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best um, again, Estos atros eh, fueron fotografiados por mi ocular electrónico o sea, lo, lo, lo fotografié yo mismo con mi telescopio y se ve claramente la diferencia En fin, voy a hacer un poco de este video todo de nuevo para aquellos de ustedes que pueden ser adversos al español Uh, or know someone who is, you can ask them to interpret what he's saying. Bueno, acá tenemos mi vidrio en el cielo, ahí lo apunto con el dedo. En la compu lo estoy filmando con el ocular electrónico, eh, conectado al telescopio. Ahí lo tenemos, en la misma posición todos los días, a la misma hora, 7 y 20 de la tarde. Ahora pasamos a verlo directamente en el ocular electrónico, ahí tenemos los planetas Venus, Júpiter, Marte y tenemos a Saturno para que vean que ninguno de esos astros son estos astros eh, fueron fotografiados por mi ocular electrónico o sea, los lo fotografié yo mismo con mi telescopio y se ve claramente la diferencia eh, bueno, este es el planeta Nibiru que se desplaza a 90 km por segundo eh, con una clara visibilidad y su color rojizo característico no hay ninguna duda de que es el planeta Nibiru y se dirige hacia la órbita de la Tierra. Seguiré subiendo material nuevo y con más detalles. Eh, bueno, dejen sus comentarios en el video.